In a kingdom rich with history and magic, Serena Ashford, the elder sister of Evelyn Ashford, was born into a life of royalty and power. As a princess, Serena was expected to embody grace and wisdom, destined to one day rule her parents' kingdom. Her lineage was steeped in extraordinary abilities, particularly on her mother's side, which boasted a powerful heritage of pyromancers. Those blessed with this gift were easily recognizable by their scarlet eyes and vibrant red hair, a legacy carried by Serena's mother and aunt. Her aunt, despite being of a less pure bloodline, held significant influence as the head of the Druids in the kingdom. This role placed her in close proximity to Serena's uncle, the king's younger brother. He was a formidable figure, commanding the king's army and leading an elite group of warriors. Serena, however, was less captivated by the regal duties expected of her and more inspired by the valor and strength exhibited by her uncle and aunt. From a young age, Serena aspired to be a warrior. She often skipped her royal lessons to train with her uncle, honing her combat skills. Her best friend and frequent sparring partner was Hannah, the dedicated daughter of the king and queen's most trusted advisor. Hannah, despite her disciplined training and greater strength, never managed to defeat Serena in their matches. Serena's genius intuition and natural talent for physical activities allowed her to excel in combat, yet she struggled with intellectual pursuits. Her dyslexia and reliance on instinct over theory made academic tasks particularly challenging. A traumatic incident during her training left a lasting mark on Serena. In a moment of uncontrolled rage, her pyromancy nearly killed someone. This event haunted her, causing her to shun her magical abilities and avoid classes that required theoretical knowledge or reading. Her relationship with her parents grew strained as they pressured her to embrace her future role as queen, a path she had no desire to follow. One fateful day, in a heated argument with her parents about her destiny, Serena and Evelyn ventured into a forbidden part of the castle. They sought out magical bracers rumored to help control Serena's volatile powers. In their quest, they accidentally unleashed an ice apparition, a malevolent entity that drained Evelyn's magical life force and cursed Serena, leaving her paralyzed from the waist down. Hannah, initially conflicted but ultimately loyal, confessed to the queen and rushed to their aid. Together with the queen, they confronted the apparition. The queen managed to destroy the creature and performed a desperate ritual, transferring her pyromantic powers to her daughters. This act saved their lives but could not heal the physical damage inflicted on Serena. As this catastrophe unfolded, their uncle launched a treacherous attack on the kingdom. The queen, already weakened by the ritual to save her daughters, found herself powerless to oppose him. In the chaos, the queen instructed Serena, Evelyn, and Hannah to flee through a secret tunnel in the castle that led to the church. There, they met Hannah's father, who provided them with magical items to aid in their escape, including the bracers Serena and Evelyn had been seeking. With his final words, he urged them to flee to the Druid Grove in the forest, where they would find protection. The kingdom's fall forced Serena, Evelyn, and Hannah to seek refuge at the Druid Grove. However, the looming threats from their uncle necessitated another escape, leading them to a distant town. Initially, Hannah carried Serena wherever they needed to go, but upon arriving in the city, they acquired a wheelchair for Serena. This transition confined Serena mostly to their rented residence, amplifying her feelings of uselessness and dependency. In this new environment, Hannah, desperate to support the princesses, made significant sacrifices by working in a brothel despite the shame it would bring to her family and her own personal purity, both of which she valued highly. However, both sisters were unaware of the extent of Hannah's efforts. From Serena's perspective, Hannah somehow managed to convince Luis, a paladin, to join their cause and form a party with them. Luis seemed like everything Serena wished she could be, a noble and skilled warrior. This led to mixed feelings. She admired his dedication to the holy cause, but was also reminded of her lost dreams. Hannah picked their first mission, despite Serena's concerns about holding everyone back. Luis reassured them by promising to protect the group, a sentiment that both irritated and comforted Serena. Hannah also encouraged Serena to join, 
insisting she needed to get out of the house and promising to carry her if things went awry. The mission was to investigate the ruins where a paladin had been killed and retrieve any items confirming the lich's involvement in his death. In the ruins, they encountered Jabari and Tiago, who had already retrieved a magical mask that activated Tiago's lich avatar. A fierce battle ensued with a demonic beast, which Jabari and Tiago managed to defeat. Confused, Luis's party attacked Tiago's lich avatar. Tiago revealed his identity, leading to a tense but informative reunion with Luis. The two parties promised to meet again later that evening at the tavern near the guild hall where they got their missions. Serena's party was given some magical items to turn into the guild which would allow them to claim the reward, but Tiago asked them not to tell the guild about his lich avatar. Gaining confidence from their first successful mission, Serena felt a renewed sense of hope. She was determined to convince Tiago and Jabari to join their party, believing Tiago's wizardry could help her master pyromancy. After their meeting at the tavern later that evening, Tiago and Jabari agreed to join them. Serena's spark was rekindled. For the first time in years, she felt there was a chance to reclaim their kingdom. With their new allies, Serena looked forward to the adventures ahead, excited by the prospect of restoring her family's legacy and bringing justice to their homeland.